for a little shot. A little shock. Huh. <laughs> Come a little closer. Let the show begin. Hi. Huh. Hi. Huh. Hey. Urine for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> A little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. Closer. This place has also been contaminated. Yeah. And a lot of it, too. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they... Right! You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous, and it won't be any help for you to just stay here. Uh, don't get by my wrong. We're not no, you're right. I can't do anything. That complicates things. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? The water levels here are unstable, and there's a chance the water will rise. So, staying here wouldn't be safe either. I'll go together with you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. All right. Come with us for now, then. But please be careful. <laughs> Hmph! <laughs> 
Wait! There's something wrong with this! Demoiselle? Huh? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark? Maybe she just wants some time. Hmm? Yes, it... Uh. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Oh. <sighs> this is... Is something the matter, Dem... Oh, uh, no, I was just trying to recall... Do you remember... We were headed to... Ah, uh, right. Oh? Huh? Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Uh, how have you been? I've been great. Thanks to your help, those bothersome merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even the guarantor for that person. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obuna, was getting fed up with them. Sometimes, force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? Oh, oh, yes. One moment, I have it right here. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're a very good variety, and they'll become very big and beautiful once they bloom. I don't know what we would have done without your help, so this is a little token of our appreciation. I hope you won't refuse. Ah, did you cultivate them yourself? Thank you so much. I'll certainly take them. Malus, we do still have some empty flower pots at home, right? Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's flowers. Very well. Wait. Something seems to be off here. Excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett, correct? That's right. Is something wrong? Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. This is the first time we've ever met, but your name seemed familiar to me. I must have heard it when I was discussing things with your husband previously. I've heard this name before. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. And why are there so few people around here? Where did everyone go? We must mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. Huh? We do? Like what? Well, now, did you forget? Miss Navia, here you are! I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Your trial is about to begin. My trial? Wait, wh why would I need to go to the Opera House? Yes, she's right, Demoiselle. It's just about time now, so we should get going. Oh? Uh, all right then. And her two attendants are with her! <sighs> Goodness, everyone's finally here. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly... Excited about something. I even know some of these people. Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen. Why are so many people here? And why do I have no recollection of this case? And as for the judge... Uh, huh? Where's Monsieur Nervillette? 
please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry, Silver and I shall accompany you. All right. But are you sure you can stand behind me? Typically, it wouldn't be allowed, but today is an exception. Hey, what kind of place do they think this is? Come on, do they have any idea what they're doing? Seriously? <sighs> Enough with the whispering! <sighs> Could someone please tell me where Monsieur Nervilette is? And why I am standing trial? My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor, the head of the Spina di Rasula, someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates, nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought for the well-being of those in Poisson. <laughs> Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. We are one big family, all of us who are from Poisson, inextricably linked. And with you being so important, we couldn't possibly do without you. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us. Forever. Huh? What are you saying? Uh, everything you have said is correct. I have indeed done a lot for my hometown, and I would be willing to be with you all, but what is the purpose of having me stand here like this? What is there to discuss? Oh, well, if that's what you think, then I have no further comments. <gasps> How wonderful, Miss Navia! <laughs> I know all these people. Why are they laughing? I seem to remember now. Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Uh, Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty! Stay here, Navia! You're one of us! Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend Our Lady. Mr. Swanfield, you only know of Navia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. She was born a free and independent spirit. She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro. Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kindness. Everything is measured here in the nation of Hydro. And in the end, everyone shall meld together. Thus, when a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents... Now I speak for everyone. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. We... And you would call this justice? 
Have you forgotten how much you owe? Do you need to defy our justice? If your justice is flawed, then why should we? As you said, we can also have our own justice. And that. Ugh, my head. Demoiselle. Uh, Silver, it hurts. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen, and Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Even Malus and Silver. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Don't be afraid, and don't admit guilt. We will protect you to the very end. Absurd! Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? We are the majority, and in the nation of trials, the majority is absolute justice. We are the will of all. Don't let them escape! We shall keep Navia here with us! Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver, must you be so stubborn? How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the Collective? Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Navia belongs to us. After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. What are you saying? No more excuses! She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? What's with these people? Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us! Miss Navia, she... Silence. Uh, that's... Uh, Monsieur Nervillette. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. Our thanks, Monsieur Nervillette. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. But... Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to leave this place. What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Loose. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that... this shall... Malus... Silver. Quickly, you must c Goodbye, Demoiselle. Farewell. Oh, wait! Just a second! Uh, Navia? <laughs> You're awake. Good. Uh, I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were still alive, and they were... They were defending me at some insane trial. It looks like you're all right. Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm. Hmm? What is it? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second, but they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Wait, did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. <sighs> I always told them that they didn't have to protect me. <sighs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. <sighs> Please come with me. Nevelette. Are you okay? Hmm? Oh, I am quite alright. 
Perhaps there's something we could chat about? Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Huh? Why didn't you just say so then? Don't you think it's even more awkward to call us over like this and then have nothing to talk about? Hmm... I suppose so. Ah, Sijuin! I hope all is well with her these days. Her work in the Fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No way! Don't worry! She's doing fine down there. She's an amazing head nurse! I see. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sijuin would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity, just as I have. Oh, and the Duke also says hi! Even though Sijuin made him do that, he hopes that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. Thank you. I have indeed been busy lately, and I also hope that everything is going well in the Fortress of Meropede. Uh, he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh... Let's chat about something else, then. So, Nivellet, uh, you're probably quite the swimmer, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's try something else. Um... How did you find these ruins? Did the knave tell you? Yes, in fact. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I arrived, I discovered that the Fatui were helping the residents evacuate. They had even transported a large quantity of supplies to the area. Amid my astonishment, I ran into the knave, and we had a chat. She informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here. Yeah, we originally planned to meet up with you, but we thought you might still be busy with all those official documents. We didn't think exploring the ruins would take very long, and who would have thought you'd wrap things up so quickly? <sighs> I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting like that. I'm feeling much better now.